Hi, Erlen Backer here, founder of MrOutsource.com, coming to you today from London. And uh, today I want to talk about how you can train your VA using ScreenFlow and Skitch. ScreenFlow is a program that basically captures your screen and everything that you do on the screen whilst you can record. So I'm actually using ScreenFlow to produce this video for you. And uh, today, what I'm going to talk about is how you can train your VA and how ScreenFlow works as well as I'm going to give one of my VAs called Bryce an assignment on one of my companies. So when I was 14 I went to school to become a tennis coach and from I was 14 to I was 20, 21 I was a full-time tennis coach and um, I was thinking today how much that has influenced me in educating people in my companies and there is a process to teaching somebody first you need to show them how something is done then you need to break down what you did in simple steps so they understand how they can do it then you show them again and then you let them do it themselves usually by starting with a very simple part of the forehand for instance you know you'd maybe start with the grip and just get them to uh, follow through but not do the whole you know you wouldn't get them to take their their arm back you would just start with their arm back and follow through the stroke so breaking down complicated tasks into simple units is a really powerful way of educating your VAs and then for the second part, it's about letting them to try and fail enough times. You have to be patient. And the relationship is that you train, and they train, and they get better and better. And you need to encourage them, and you need to guide them along the way. There is no way of just saying, here you go, do it. You know, something, many parts of your business you've been doing for many years, and you can't expect somebody else to just pick that up by making one simple video clip. You will need to perfect and hone your skills as well as the VA skills. So a really cool part of teaching other people how to do something is that you learn so much from doing it. Okay, and uh, one more thing. Don't forget to add massive value to your VA. So people like learning. So the more you, you, you teach, the more they learn, the more fun you have working with your VA. Okay, so Bryce, here we start. One of my companies is called Uspin, which is a 360 photography application. Now, to create more traction, we want to start posting comments to everybody that's uploading spins to our website. So here is somebody that's uploaded a really cool spin of an engine and you know we should really comment and say I really like your spin let us know if you need any help and you know maybe send them a link to some educational material such as um, this which is called the secrets of 360 photography where we teach people how to do 360 photography so Bryce what I need you to do is uh, create an account by logging on, on in on the top. So you just um, I'm just gonna enter my information on the top here, but basically you enter it down here, and then here's my login. Okay, and there you see all my spins that I've made. So what I need you to do, Bryce, is go to Explore, and for for every new person that upload something I want you to press here which means you like it they will then the user will then get a notification saying that I liked their spin and then I want you to scroll down and comment so it's a nice spin um, but let's you know let's comment and say I really like your car I'm a big Jeep fan myself uh, I really like your car If you want to learn more about 360 photography, 
you can check out our 360 photography tutorial and then drop them a link and then write thank you for using uspin and that comment will be sent to the user also if you see something that is really really cool Bryce I want you to post it on Facebook uh, I also want you to tweet it using our uspin Twitter account so that other users can also view it and get some uh, creative sparks flowing to them you know <laughs> so just a couple of other things that our uh, um, you know my VAs are doing for me they are blogging so you know they're writing really good blogs and um, also as part of the blog posting some 360s that users have made we also have a let me just go back to our main site we also have a store where we're actually drop shipping so drop shipping I'm using two outsourcing levels there. Um, we have a provider in China that actually ships all the products, but the fulfillment of the order, which means uh, customer service of all the orders in the store, is being done by one of my VAs in Mr. Outsource. So you know when there's orders, I I don't really I you know I get a, I get a weekly report of all the products sold, but that's pretty much what I do. Okay, so let's talk about Skitch quickly. Um, so how I would use Skitch is I would just open it here and press Screen Snap, which brings up this cursor here. Then I would then mark the screen and write, please, Please register for an account here. And then I would have an arrow. I would have an arrow pointing to it like that. The cool thing here is that all the screen screen snaps you're actually you're you're um, creating are stored in Evernote also. So. Just see here, compose. So the cool thing here is that I can actually just drag and drop the screen snap into an email and I can email the person that I want to email. So that's how I use Sketch and ScreenFlow to generate content for my VAs and what I do afterwards is that I will I will play you know I can't do this now but I'll press stop record and I will actually generate an export I will, I will go to I'll show you this I'll go to ScreenFlow and press export and then I will actually upload it to our YouTube account and uh, Again, my VA will actually transcribe this video. When the video is transcribed, it will show up better in search. So I hope you're getting a, a good understanding of how how many tasks I outsource as part of my as part of my marketing and, uh, and part of my business. I'm always trying to think of techniques to outsource. If I come up with an with an idea, you know, I'm always tempted to do it myself. I always want to do it myself. Um, but then I go, oh no, oh, wait, 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 I'm Mr. Outsourcer, I've got to try to find a way of systemizing this and uh, giving it to somebody else to do. And um, that's what I did today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. If you want to contact us, email us at hello at mroutsource.com. My email is erland at mroutsource.com. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you. Thank you and bye-bye. <laughs>